Hello, my name is Laura Sanchez Parkinson, and I'm the Director of Partnerships, Programs, and Research at the SPEE Fund. Thank you for joining us today for this brief webinar on the Equity and Mental Health Fund Campus Initiative. The SPEE Fund is the nation's leading organization focused on promoting the mental health and emotional well being of young people of color as they transition into post secondary education, experience higher education, and then transition to the workforce. At the intersection of race and mental health, our programs and services are carefully designed and grounded in the latest research and best practices to engage educators, mental health providers, and young people. Today, we'll focus on how we partner with colleges and universities across the country to prioritize and invest in the mental health and emotional well-being of students of color. Through the Equity and Mental Health on Campus initiative, institutions intentionally address their campus racial climate, policies, programs, and services to better support the mental health and emotional well-being of students of color. The Equity Mental Health on Campus Initiative is grounded in research and best practices to respond to the student mental health needs. This includes our Equity and Mental Health on Campus Framework, which is a framework developed in collaboration with the Judd Foundation for colleges and universities to strengthen their mental health and support programs for students of color. The SPEE Fund has also launched a Crisis Response Task Force Report, which situates student experiences in this time of COVID-19 and racial injustice movements. Just to give you a quick overview of the 10 recommendations from the Equity and Mental Health Framework, it includes identifying and promoting the mental health and well-being of students of color as a campus-wide priority. It also includes creating opportunities to engage around national and international issues and events and how that impacts the mental health of students of color. A couple of other recommendations include offering a range of supportive programs and services in a variety of formats and helping students learn about those programs and services by advertising and promoting, promoting through multiple channels. Our COVID-19 task force provided five recommendations for higher education institutions, including taking a collaborative approach to promote the mental health of students of color and treating student mental health as a top priority for investment. Again, through the Equity and Mental Health on Campus, institutions are intentionally addressing their campus racial climate, their policies, programs, and services to better support the mental health and emotional well being of students of color. Campuses will establish the mental health of students as a campus wide priority. They will equip and prepare eight to 10 campus leaders to build trust within their campus through a racial trauma informed leadership gain knowledge about the mental health concerns and cultural strengths of students of color, affect positive change in the knowledge, attitudes, and beliefs of faculty, staff, and administrators in order to support students of color, and ultimately to catalyze change in campus racial climate policies, programs, and services. Through this initiative, campuses join a community of action to share responsibility, build knowledge, make investments, innovate, and learn from each other. Through this 18 month institutional commitment, our team works across campuses to form teams that are diverse. This includes faculty, administrators, staff representing across diverse units, including counseling center, student affairs, academic affairs, institutional research, folks from the diversity equity and inclusion offices, academic departments, and communications. Our approach is student centric which includes maybe a student as part of the team or drawing from existing student committees in order to bring in the student voice. Our, camp, our team of researchers work with each campus to develop a needs assessment report. Our approach to needs assessment includes a, developing a campus data toolkit in collaboration with the team, which is an inventory of existing institutional formal and informal data about and on students of color and their mental health. Our team works to develop a campus and community racial narrative in the context of mental health. This includes understanding the narratives on the legacy of race and racism on a campus in the current social, cultural, and political context in order to understand how these impact the mental health of students of color. Through this process, we also aim to learn about the knowledge, the attitudes, the beliefs, and perceptions of students of color on each campus. 
Again, our student-centric approach, we focus on the ex understanding the experiences of students of color through listening sessions and a campus-wide survey. We partner with the Healthy Mind Study to administer a surveys across campus and specifically disaggregate the data to understand the experiences of students of color. Each campus receives this comprehensive needs assessment to understand the needs of your students of color and their mental health. Through this 18 month um, commitment, we go on to action planning and action taking. Through this process, we develop specific actionable and measurable goals to address the mental health of students of color. And we develop and refine the campus policies and programs that are already on your campus. Each campus is assigned a mental health campus coach and also takes advantage of all of our experts who are, have expertise across mental health, diversity, equity, inclusion, higher education, and innovative strategic planning tools such as design thinking. Finally, this 18 month commitment leads to sustainability. How do we evaluate this process and develop a plan for next steps in sustainability on your campus? So far, we have piloted with 18 campuses across the, across the country, including College of St. Rose, Kalamazoo College, University of Michigan Dearborn, University of Southern California, and West Michigan University. From this pilot, we learned that all campuses developed initiatives to make the mental health a campus-wide priority. Campuses that collaborated across departments and divisions had the most success in providing the mental health support for students of color. Campuses that provided financial resources towards implementing the recommendations demonstrated their commitment to make mental health a priority for students of color. And campuses that took advantage of the CFUNDS training and technical assistance reported that campus partners were more willing to implement those recommendations. In the fall of 2020, we launched our first cohort fully virtual. We are now working with campuses across the country to build teams. The application is due August 31st, and we are launching the second cohort with a retreat on October 12th and 13th. As you begin to plan for the fall semester, we encourage you to think about how you will promote and make the commitment to support our students of color who have been drastically impacted by the ongoing racial injustices and the COVID-19 pandemic. We invite you to make an investment in a campus-wide commitment to supporting the mental health and emotional well-being of students of color, ultimately to secure their academic and career success. If you're interested to learn more for, uh, about our cost and financial assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out at laura at stefan.org. Thank you for joining me today.